Good afternoon. Hi, everybody. Phil McPhail here with United Country Lifestyle Properties, Maine. Join me today. We're going to take a look at a 38.1 surveyed acre lot. It's got drilled well, septic system. It's got a really old mobile home. We'll talk about that in a bit. And a lot of driveway that goes from the highway to the building site, but then continues on for probably nearly a thousand feet. So you get an interior road that gets you access to about 50% of the interior of the property. Let's go take a look at it together. The property here in Carroll is located on 1919 Main Road, which is US Route 6 that runs east and west from Lincoln to Topsfield, Maine, and eventually hits Route 1 that runs north and south along the east side of the state. You'll see here as you turn into the driveway, we do have a gate up that you, that's lockable, our chain gate. Um, about 450 feet of driveway enters the property to the building site. So let's go walk up back up towards the uh, mobile home site and check that out. Folks, this is a 14 by 70 mobile home. I have no idea of the age. I can't find the HUD sticker on it. Um, it's, it's rough. The roof is leaking in it. Um, I'm guessing it's probably a 1980s vintage. It, uh, I think the sellers at one time had thoughts that they were re-roof it. There's a Nice load of shingles here, some uh, ridge cap, and ice and water shield, which is on the property and obviously will stay here. But, um, you know, you can see some of the photos I took inside. It's boarded up right now. Uh, there's some mold in there. Uh, it's not horrible. I think it, if you are very talented, you could probably fix this up. That's up to you. Come up and take a look at it. Tell me what you think. I'm not putting any value on the mobile home. You may, and at, at the very least, uh, the steel scrap under it might make you a nice bridge somewhere if you wanted to do that. Okay, folks, the, uh, the improvements to the property include this uh, well over here. We have a drilled well, and in relation to the trailer here, this driveway comes in from the road, goes around the right side of the mobile home, and then over here on the right side of the driveway is the, the um, well. And this is a drilled well. It looks like it's putting out plenty of water. There's actually water uh, percolating up out of the ground around it. Uh, according to the well cap, it was put in by Sam Dunham of East Corinth, Maine. I don't believe he's in business anymore, but that's an eight inch casing, tr full drilled well. And then we're gonna walk across the other side of the driveway and come on over here and we'll take a look at where the septic is located. We're over here on the left side of the mobile home and you can see the power pole that comes in and there's a transformer on it which is really nice your your uh, meter and breaker panels right there on the on there on the pole but right here uh, and not completely buried is a thousand gallon concrete septic tank and the, it's actually plumbed in to the mobile home you can see that line here i've looked online for the design of this i cannot find one um, that's not that unusual that the plumbing inspectors don't always remember to turn them into the state, but you can see what looks to be some sort of leaching field here and actually a pretty good size one. I, I'm guessing it might be a stone bed. You would want to have this inspected probably before you used it, but the tank looks, looks solid. Um, the mobile home's got some gravel under it. Power poles here ready to hook up to. So if you didn't want to use this mobile home, get it out of here and be a nice spot to build your home cabin or put a yurt up here. All right, we've looked at the building site here just off of Route 6 Main Road. Now we're gonna take a ride up to the end of this improved road that goes through the center of the property and deer tracks right here next to the, the mobile, no, no shocking uh, situation there. There's a lot of deer in this Carroll area between here and Prentice. And we're gonna talk about the location a little bit later, but let's go up and take a look at the forest up on top of the hill. We're back here towards the center of the property here in Carroll. And I want to take a minute to talk about the forest that we have here. You can see that there's been a recent timber harvest. A pre-commercial thinning was done here because this, <clears throat> this land, most of the timber in here is probably between 25 and 30 years old. <clears throat> it's growing very densely. There's a, a pretty good stand of hardwood. It's mostly hardwood. You'll see a little bit of fur mixed in it. But the uh, trees here are anywhere from two to 10 inches in diameter. And they're probably between 20 and 35 feet tall. So you got a young forest growing very well because of the soil types and we'll talk about that next. Folks, the soil here, and you can see I've got a handful of it, uh, probably 70% of this site according to the NRCS soil survey is uh, either plasted or Dixmont silt loam. And it's stony. You can see the rocks here where they pushed some up when they were building the road. We're at the very end 
of the improved section of the interior road system that goes up past the, the uh, building site. But this is a sandy loam uh, or silty loam, very nice looking material. If you pulled off the trees, pulled the stumps, got rid of some rocks, put down lots of uh, lime, you'd have yourself some pretty good soil to grow food plots, your garden, or maybe a small farm here. And certainly uh, pasture land would be real easy on this property. We're back here again at the end of the improved uh, road system that comes into the land. And I think we're over a thousand feet off of Route 6 here now, well over a thousand feet. We've got some areas here that were staged and used as uh, the log landings. Most of the slash has been chipped. There's a little bit here you can easily clean up with a tractor or a small bulldozer. But this area here I think would be great if you wanted to have some cabins maybe. You want to rent out to people that want to come up and recreate in this area or just hang out here in the summer, winter, whatever. Uh, be a good spot to put them. Road's built right to here. Needs a few improvements along the way, but mostly it's a pretty good road. So another opportunity to maybe use this, this property uh, to develop some income from it. This property has quite a bit of elevation to it. Uh, we're, we're near the end of the road that's improved onto the property. The elevation here is about 980 feet above sea level. The elevations range from about 940 feet down near Route 6 uh, main road to the center of the property. The high point is about 1,050 feet above sea level. Nice high ground, nice gentle slope. Uh, ditch it properly, build in here. It's pretty well drained land. Uh, and like I said earlier, it's mostly hardwood. We've got birches, beeches, maples, um, a little bit of everything in the hardwood varieties and a few spruce and fir growing as well. Folks, uh, we're back down here now at the, uh, the building site and I want to talk a little bit about the location. But before I do, uh, a couple things to mention. One, this I did say earlier, it's been surveyed. We do have a survey plan. If you'd like to see a copy of that, give us a call or email. We'll send you a copy. It will, it will be included in our property information package. 38.1 surveyed acres. The boundary lines are very well blazed. They're all blazed red. You can, you can find them everywhere we've looked for them. We found the boundaries. I want to thank you guys again for all you new subscribers or new visitors. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell down the bottom of the screen. Make sure you turn on all notifications. You won't miss our next video. And also, if you'd like to be kept up to date on the real estate market up here in Maine, and, and we cover a very large part of the state, sign up for our newsletter. We send them out once a month. They have new properties, some sale data, uh, a little bit of information about what's going on in Maine. You're probably wondering where exactly is Carroll Plantation? Uh, well, Carroll Plantation is in far, kind of the center part of Penobscot County, but right on the eastern border where we meet Washington County. Um, this is a very rural part of the state. This town has a population of about 138. One of the things about Carroll, other than a few homes and some farm fields around, it's kind of well known for the rolling hills out through here. Very attractive area as you're driving east to west, or west to east, out through from Lincoln to the to Route 1. You're going to come through these big rolling hills, beautiful area, Bowers Mountains right here behind us. So there, you know, it's just a, a very scenic area and there's a lot of recreation opportunities here in the Carroll area. From this property here in Carroll, we're about 30 miles east of Lincoln and that's about a half hour ride. Actually, it's about 24 miles, I guess, from, from here to the town of Lincoln. Um, Bangor is 73 miles away, about an hour and 15 minutes. City of Portland is a little over 200 miles, about three hours, a little over three. In Boston, it's 307 miles right from the doorstep here to the city. And that's going to take you probably four hours and 45 minutes to five hours, depending on traffic and how much lead you have at your foot. This area of, of Maine is one of my favorite areas in the entire state. And, I, and maybe I'm a little biased because I don't live that far from here. But Carroll is just north of the town of Lakeville. And Lakeville is, is properly named. There's a pile of lakes here. And I, I try to list them all, but I'll probably miss a few. You've got Junior Lake, Sisladopsis Lake, Upper Sisladopsis Lake, Lombard Lake, both pug, upper and lower pug lakes. You've got Duck Lake. Scraggly Lake uh, can be accessed from Junior, and you can actually take a boat all the way down from the boat landing on Bottle Lake down through Junior into West Grand Lake and drive all the way down to Grand Lake Stream, bring your fly rod and jump in the stream, do a little fishing while you're down there. The boating opportunities are immense. So we're just minutes from that boat landing at Bottle Lake. What else can you find around this area? Well, Grand Lake Stream is 40 miles by car right from here to the village. 
And if you're if you've ever heard of Grand Lake Stream, you probably have if you're an outdoors person because it's legendary for its landlocked salmon fly fishing only water between Grand Lake and Big Lake and Grand Lake Stream. But what a lot of people don't know is that the lakes down there are also full of some trophy sized smallmouth bass and lake trout. So if you're if you're into fishing or boating, the opportunities down there are, are amazing. And it's also a great hunting area for white tailed deer, black bear, moose, and upland birds like grouse and woodcock. Also not far from here is the main New Brunswick border. And it's about 37 miles from this property to the border crossing in Vanceboro. You can be in Fredericton in a little over an hour if you like uh, fishing for Atlantic salmon. Uh, the Miramichi River is less than two hours drive from here, or that's about two hours drive from here. So you, this is a great place to kind of use as a base camp for all kinds of recreation. Another cool feature of this area is the Down East Lakes Land Trust and the Down East Lakes Community Forest. The Land Trust is, has conserved, preserved, and protected nearly 370,000 acres. There's about 57,000 acres in the community forest that is used for sustainable forest management, uh, wildlife preservation, um, habitat improvements, hiking trails, really cool spot. And you can access that area from two different ways. You can go down the Blacktop Road from Route 1 or 6 out to 1 and down Grand Lake Stream Village, or you can go through the woods from Lakeville, just south of us here, all on logging roads and make a great trip of it. Folks, thank you for coming along on the tour of 1919 Main Road in the town of Carroll Plantation here in Eastern Penobscot County. Let's wrap up the video and give you the terms. The price on this property is $85,000. The taxes are about 350, just over 350 per year for 2023. What do we have here? We've got this old mobile home, take it or leave it. We've got a really nice power line coming in here, a very good driveway for almost 500 feet that goes up to the mobile home site. We've got a drilled well, we've got a full septic system, we've got some mixed growth timber, we've got elevation that's well above any floodplain, and we have year round access. So, Give me a call, 800-286-6164. Get on up here before someone else does. Make this property your getaway here in the state of Maine.